In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use Infernotice to analyze the content of your Twitter or x.com feed, including tweets related to a certain search query or pertaining to a certain user. What you're seeing on screen right now is a playthrough in chronological order of the top 200 tweets related to Infernotice. So to start this demonstration, I'm gonna begin from the app home screen and show you the full import from scratch. So here we'll go to analyze text content and it's in this location that you will enter your search query or the name of the, the individual, their account name. And so in this case, we will search for artificial intelligence. So, you know, I want to see all of the Twitter conversations pertaining to artificial intelligence. I will go ahead and rename the graph to make sure it's a new graph. And I will go to advanced settings where I get to choose uh, some options to determine what will be going to the graph. In the content to analyze, we have the choice to uh, include the tweet content only, tweets and mentions, mentions only, the tweets of a certain user, user content and mentions, or the user social network. In this case, we want to be looking at the tweets. We'll then choose to take the 200 tweets, and we get to choose if we want the top 200 tweets in terms of being most popular or the top 200 most recent tweets. So let's go ahead and see what the most recent conversation around artificial intelligence is. And as is the case with all other imports, you can choose if you want to analyze the words, the words and the detected entities, or just the detected entities. In this case, we'll go with just the words. I'll go to next. It'll take a couple seconds to pull the information from Twitter, and we will have the graph. Okay. So first you'll see um, it was default to uh, automatically remove the initial search terms from the graph, but you can go ahead and you can put them back in by clicking on these tags if you like. You can then go ahead and you can see all of the tweets um, as statements. And so you will see uh, a number of different pieces of information on here. You'll see uh, how many favorites it was, the number of followers the user that tweeted it is, and what uh, query it's related to, as well as the time uh, it was tweeted. And so it looks like the top 200 most recent tweets all happened in the last hour. Um, as it relates to live tweets, we have this uh, functionality here where we can turn on the live graph and you can choose when you want to update it, uh, if you want to overwrite, append, or clone it. Uh, and you can go ahead and turn that on. The graph will continue to update as more tweets come in. So while we're in here, if we wanted to expand the graph more, uh, we can add more search queries to it. So right now we're looking at uh, artificial intelligence. If I want to see things particularly related to open AI, I can go ahead and I can add that to the graph right now. Okay, so now we have the graph that includes uh, the what's been pulled for OpenAI. Uh, and in this case, um, it is pulling a lot of the uh, actual mentions itself. And so if you want to only see the content and not the, the mentions, as in the um, users, you can turn off the mentions up here and only view the content. And so we'll slightly reset the graph you'll notice that the, the structure of the graph kind of remains the same based on the uh, where the mentions were, but we no longer have all of the users in here. And so we can see the graph as it uh, relates to content related to open AI and artificial intelligence. Now, if we go back to the app home screen, we can now look at how to look at a particular user. So if we want to see uh, Sam Altman's account, we can enter in Sam, or his account name is S-A-M-A. -A. We can go and we can view the tweets of this user, top 200 tweets, and we can look at his uh, most popular tweets of all time. And we'll visualize that. Okay, so now we have the graph of the tweets from Sam Altman's account, and we can see uh, that right here. If we go through um, it's not going to just be the most recent. We're going to have his most uh, popular tweets. And so we can go ahead and we can even filter that. We can say, let's see those that are uh, more than uh, a thousand favorites or those that are between 100 and 500 favorites. It looks like he doesn't have any. His most popular tweets are all greater than 500. 
We can also look at retweets based on the number. Um, and we can, you know, we can sort through by time. We can understand um, if we turn on the time feature, we'll activate the highlight and graph. And I can now scroll through and I can see over time his most popular tweets. Um, and I can even filter by time in the graph settings on the right. I can say, let me only see the tweets from 2023. there or only after 2024 so and I can also now add another account I can add open AI's account to this and now we'll be seeing both Sam Altman's account and open AI's account as well and of course with all of these different imports you can utilize the same InfraNotus functionality if you want to compare graphs um, so now you could take the Twitter feed of two different individuals and you can compare them to see how much they have in common, where they're different. You can take a keyword such as network analysis and you can look at the results from Twitter, from YouTube, from Google, from the scientific uh, research papers, and you can compare those graphs together. And so with this additional Twitter uh, import functionality, you just have a, a new stream of information to connect to. And so what we're looking at here is, is both OpenAI and, and Sam Altman's account. Um, and so there's a lot that you can do with this as well. But for now, that's all I wanted to show was some of the basic functionality of Twitter. Uh, excited to see how you all might use it. Feel free to share any questions or suggestions you have. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you soon.